Welcome, 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 everybody. We are excited to jump in to our 11 ways to win in the second half. I'm excited to be with you today on this beautiful Tuesday. And thank you for joining us live. I know several of you will end up catching the replay, or maybe you're listening to this on the podcast as we end up sharing it there, or perhaps watching this later on YouTube. I'm excited to jump in. I actually put together a list of 11 things that I believe are necessary to win in the second half of 2023 based on what's happened so far this year and based on what I am seeing taking place right now. What's really cool about our webinars and any of the information that we share is none of this is theory. None of this is an idea I heard or, or something I read in a Facebook group. This is all based on practice and, and, and implementation and execution of things we're doing right now. Things that we're seeing success with today, not last year, not the year before, not even nine months ago, stuff that's working right now. And I'm excited to share with you 11 ways to win in the second half. What's really special about today's session is this is for those of you that didn't get a chance to join us at the retreat, because of course, as you've heard by now, I've shared our second half business plan, which you're going to get bits and pieces of it today. And I hope you can respect and for those of you that did attend, I know you can respect this. Um, we, we purposely reserve things specifically for our events uh, as an encouragement to get you there. Because, heck, if we shared everything afterwards, you wouldn't need to be there. So you're going to get some bits and pieces of things that I shared from the event, which is great for those that weren't able to attend. For those of you that weren't able to attend, don't miss another. And for those that were there, you're going to hear things maybe presented in a different way, or perhaps you had to step out of the room to refresh your coffee or whatever. You might hear something that you didn't get a chance to catch or write down. Well, we did spend three and a half days together a couple of weeks ago. So first things first, my name is Jeff Glover. I'm from right here in Detroit, Michigan. We're in the Glover U studio, and I've been listing and selling real estate now. This past May, I entered my 21st year in the business. This is all I've done since high school. And the thing that's probably unique about Glover U for my first timers, by the way, if you're a first timer, go ahead and throw down in the chat where you're chiming in from my first timers and do me a favor, change your settings to everyone, uh, not just hosts and panelists, because you want people to see where you're from. You want people to get familiar with your name, your first and last name in your city and state. So when you're commenting, make sure you're putting that down there in the chat as everyone. So everyone can see, there we go. Ontario, Canada, Cocoa Beach, Florida. I'll be near Cocoa Beach uh, tomorrow for the final session of SLS in Melbourne. London, Ontario in the house, Canada. Oklahoma City, welcome guys. Great to see so many first timers on. Dallas, Texas, San Antonio, Texas in the house. Dallas, Fort Worth, awesome. Again, when you're commenting, make sure you change it to everyone so everyone can see where you're from. There's a lot coming in. And of course, Kingston, Ontario, love that. All right. So uh, thanks for, for being with us. For those that aren't familiar, if this is your first time, um, one thing that you should know about Glover U and about myself is the reason why we're having the success that we're having as a coaching and training organization is because we're in the trenches with you. We just had a great leadership meeting with our Glover U leadership team, and we talked about all the improvements and things that we'd like to make for our next event coming up in Phoenix and, of course, our upcoming coaching programs. And here's the good news. Everything we share, everything I'm going to share with you today is based on our application of it and the success we've had with it. If you're not familiar, our team here in Michigan sells just under 1,000 homes per year. I'm personally responsible for anywhere between 75 and 85 of those a year myself. And that is the single greatest differentiator of Glover U versus everybody else out there is we're in it with you succeeding at a very high level, including the head coach himself. So let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, I want to share just a couple resources for those of you that, ah, here he goes with the resources for my repeat uh, webinar uh, attendees. We've got a new one, so you're going to want to write this one down. This applies to everyone, all right? So moving forward, starting on August 1st, uh, for those that are familiar, you, you receive a daily text message from me Monday through Friday. I write a daily message on something relating to succeeding in real estate. From time to time, it'll be short and sweet like today's was. Hey, we got the webinar today. It's free. Come join us. Other days, it'll be, here's a marketing tactic I tried, and, and here's the success I had with it. You should use it. Here's a script I used on an appointment last night. Here's the success I had. You should use it. Or yesterday, I had in kind of an interesting story, a seller uh, that I door knocked 19 years ago 
that I added to the database 19 years ago that was receiving my calendars every single year reached out finally to list their house. So don't say door knocking doesn't work. Even 19 years later, it does work. Anyways, we send out a daily message Monday through Friday. By the way, if you're receiving the daily message, let me know if you're receiving the daily message in the chat. I'm looking up here at the screen. If you're getting those and you enjoy those, because we got to know that you enjoy getting them and that they are motivational and they're good accountability and um, good information. It's free, by the way. It's a free resource. Here's the deal. Uh, it is changing from text message to an app starting the 1st of August. So this is a free resource. This is the first time we're announcing it on a webinar. Everyone needs to move over to the new platform because starting August 1st, you won't receive the daily text anymore. Um, given the TCPA and spam rules and all of that, we've made the decision as a company that uh, we'd rather not be in a situation where somebody would report us for texting them unsolicited. And so we're moving it over to an app. And so how you find that app, if you want to do it right now, we can do it together. Um, and forgive me if I'm wrong here, for those of you behind the scenes that are running the webinar, I believe they can still text morning to 55444 and you'll have the link to the app. So let me just try this. I'm going to do it with you. All right. So let me do it first. Okay. Send. This is for the free daily text, the free daily message. Let's see here. Usually takes a second. First name, last name. There we go. And they'll put it in the chat as well. Send. Okay, let's take a look and see what I get back. Okay. There it comes. So if you don't want to use the method that I'm using, which is texting, um, you can open up your app store and just search Glover U. It should come up right away in your app store. If you search Glover U, that's how you're going to get access to the daily message moving forward starting August 1st. So for those of you that, that you receive, okay, good. So yeah, there's two ways you can do it. You can open up the app store and just search Glover U and it'll take you to the app store you know, or it'll take you to the app and that's where you'll receive the daily message. Just make sure you have your notifications from Glover U turned on. Or if you want to make it simpler, you can text the word morning right now, take out your cell phones and do this if you're not on this. Uh, or if you are receiving the daily text message and you don't have the app yet, here's how you can get the app. Text the word morning to 55444. That's it. That's the phone number, 55444. It's going to ask you if you're sure because it only has five digits or whatever. Just hit send. Text the word morning to 55444. And it's going to come back, ask you your first name and last name. And then it's going to email you a oh, reply with your email address to join. See, we're doing this together. See how that goes. I mean, literally, we just launched this. So I'm the first. This is the first time I'm doing it myself. So there we go. It says, hi, Jeff. Just reply with your email address to join. I put my email address in there, I hit send, and it's gonna send me a link to the app. So that's how you get that. I don't wanna go through all my resources because I wanna get into the content, but that is the most important one. I'm told that's our most popular free resource right now. I think we've got probably 15 or 16,000 agents across North America on that. Um, and if you're in Canada, you have to just go through the app. The texting morning to 55444 won't work. Just go find the app in your app store. Again, that's the Glover U app. That's how you're going to be able to access the daily message moving forward, okay? Next, we have a workbook today. I know some of our webinars, we have workbooks where it's just printed with blank lines. Today's workbook is a little thicker than a normal workbook. Why? Because there's some great resources in here. So make sure you get this workbook printed off. You're gonna need this for today's session. So if we can get that thrown in the chat, there it is. You can download that, that workbook. You're gonna wanna operate from this. You're gonna wanna get this printed off because there's some great sections in here where I'm going to have you write things in, okay? Starting with the first in just a second. So make sure you get your hand on the workbook. Okay. So let's talk 11 ways to win in the second half. And what I want you to do, in fact, if you've got your workbook in front of you, I want you to turn to the first clean sheet of paper. It's page six based on my workbook here. If you printed that off, you should have it. If it's still printing, join us on page six once you get that printed. I'm going to share with you 11 ways, 11 things that I think are the most important things an agent should be focused on right now to win in the second half. I know the market's changed. I know things are different. Some markets are hot. Some are cold. 
We're not here to talk about the market per se. We're talking about how we're going to win no matter what market you're in. So let's go with point number one. Write this down, please. Point number one. Speaking of the market, so let's get this one out of the way. We must know, if we want to win in the second half, we must know exactly what's going on in our markets and more importantly, we must know exactly what's going on in our markets and more importantly, be able to articulate what's happening to clients. This is a huge opportunity for real estate agents right now. As I see you guys putting things on Facebook or doing videos, uh, Instagram lives or TikToks or whatever, we have to be, it's one thing to know the market. It's another thing to be able to articulate it. And I'm going to give you a formula for how to present market stats. Market stats don't have to be boring. But here's what I can tell you about market stats. Market stats create credibility. Market stats tell the consumer, this guy or this gal knows exactly what they're talking about. But you can't just share market stats. You can't just say, here's what's going on in our market. You have to be able to articulate them to consumers. So point number one is know exactly what's going on and more importantly, be able to articulate them to clients. So if I could have uh, behind the scenes, uh, whoever's running the webinar, if I could have you pull up the Facebook Live from the retreat, the one that I did, I believe it was on day one of the retreat, I want you to pull up that Facebook Live because I want you to see how to present market stats to a consumer. After we're done with the Facebook Live, I'm actually going to give you the formula that I used. All right. So let's pay attention to this just for a second. Now, I, this was in front of the audience at the retreat. So I was probably a little nervous. And I think I'm wearing the same suit. Is that the same? Would you look at that? I timed that perfectly. This was in front of the audience at the retreat. So it was a little different than normal. I wouldn't normally say, hi, we're here in front of our audience, right? I would do it from my office or I would do it in front of a house. But I want you to see and pay attention to how I articulate what's going on in the market to the consumer. And when we're done, I'm going to give you the formula that I use. So go ahead and hit play on that. Hey guys, I bet you thought right now is not a great time to buy. With interest rates so high and people complaining about multiple offer situations, why would you even want to consider getting in the market? Hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover, and we're actually live from the Live Unreal Retreat in Traverse City. Let's hear it, everybody. We're live, and we're going through market stats, and what's important to know about the market stats is there's some silver lining for our buyers. In fact, right now, our month supply of inventory is actually going up. Our days on market is actually going up, which means it's a better time for buyers to get into the market than we've seen in a long time. Now, I know it's not fun to pay a higher interest rate, but if you can get a better deal on a house or get a seller to accept terms that they wouldn't have accepted six or 12 months ago, you might end up in a better situation. For instance, we had some buyers close just last week in Northville. They were able to negotiate $15,000 off of the items for the inspection and ended up paying just slightly under the asking price. These things are happening every day in our market and if you're a buyer, don't worry about the interest rates. We're gonna save you a few bucks on the home. For results like those and for the best deal on a property today, give me a call at 855-JEFF-SELLS or online at 855-JEFF-SELLS.COM. Let's go find you a property at a good price. We'll see you, bye-bye. Okay, so uh, what I want you to do now is I want you to turn back to page four in your workbook because there's a specific formula that I followed there. And I'm gonna ask uh, whoever's behind the scenes, if you could pull that up again, please, pull that video up again. And I'm gonna stop and start it at certain parts of the video because I want you to see, you'll see on page four and five, I actually gave you a worksheet, a formula that you can use to create your own video just like that. But I wanna make sure you fully understand what the hook is. I wanna want to make sure you understand where the introduction goes, where the supporting information goes. So if you go back to page four and page five, you're gonna see I have a formula for you that I use in that video and I want you to use in your videos moving forward. And page five, by the way, you can make as many copies of this page as you want. This is your script. You can write out your script on page five to help you with doing a video just like that. So if we can get that video brought back up one more time, please. Okay, and I play it until I'm done with, until the hook stops. Now just listen audience for the hook. 
Hey guys, I bet you thought right now is not a great time to buy. With interest rates so high and people complaining about multiple offer situations, why would you even want to consider getting in the market? Stop uh, right there. That's the hook. Okay, the hook is designed to be alarming. The hook is designed to be surprising. The hook is designed to kind of leave me hanging, leave me wanting more. Where is he going with this? Yeah, right now is not a good time. Where is he going with this? By the way, there's a million different hooks that you could come up with if you actually sat down and wrote them out. In fact, in one of our programs, Marketing Mastery, we go through every single hook that you could ever encounter that you could use in your benefit. But you can come up with a hook based on, based on your story. So that's step one. Always start with the hook. On the next page, you can write out your hook. Go to step two. Play. Hi, I'm Realtor Jeff Glover, and we're actually live Stop. from the Live Unreal Retreat in Traverse City. Let's hear it, everybody. Yeah. So there's your introduction. So there's your introduction. You're always introducing yourself because, by the way, when I was live on Facebook, there was only maybe like 20 or 30 people that were watching this live. But today, this video has over 2,000 views. 2,000 views. There weren't even 2,000 people in the audience, and there was only 20 people watching it live. But why is it important to introduce yourself? Because this is going to get viewed by people that don't even know you, people that aren't friends with you. So you always assume more people are watching your stuff that don't know you than do know you. And if you always assume that, then you'll always remember to introduce yourself in your videos, which is why that's step two. So let's, let's pay attention to step three. Now, remember, in the hook, I said, right now is not a good time to buy. That was essentially my hook. Why would you want to buy right now? Let's see how I come back and support that information. Go ahead, roll it again. We're live and we're going through market stats. And what's important to know about the market stats is there's some silver lining for our buyers. In fact, right now, our month supply of inventory is actually going up. Our days on market is actually going up, which means it's a better time for buyers to get into the market than we've seen in a long time. Now I know it's not fun to pay a higher interest rate, but if you can get a better deal on a house or get a seller to accept terms that they wouldn't have accepted six or 12 months ago, you might end up in a better situation. Stop it right there. For instance, we had some buyers. Okay, supporting information. So now I have to come back and address the hook. I left them hanging. Now I have to come back and give them two or three reasons why they should do, take action, consider, think about whatever it is, the point I'm trying to get across. But I haven't convinced them yet. I gave them good supporting information, the facts that I just shared, but now I need to go to step four and I need to give them a testimonial. I need to share an example. I need to give them some proof to back up my supporting information. Go ahead and roll it. Let's listen for the proof. Buyers closed just last week in Northville. They were able to negotiate $15,000 off of the items for the inspection and ended up paying just slightly under the asking price. These things are happening every day in our market. And if you're a buyer, don't worry about the interest rates. We're going to save you a few bucks on the home. For results right like there. those. Okay, there's your testimonial. You have to have an example, proof, testimonial, something to back up your supporting information. Okay, this is the order that I want all of your videos to move. We've been teaching this for a few years now, but now we're, we're showing actual examples of what it looks and sounds like. And then you always finish with step five, which is the call to action. Go ahead, roll it. For results like those and for the best deal on a property today, give me a call at 855-JEFF-SELLS or online at 855-JEFF-SELLS.COM. Let's go find you a property at a good price. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Okay, so now you can take this formula with the worksheet on page five and create your own video just like that. And so my homework assignment, if you're up for doing homework, if you wanna have a great second half is every month in the second half of 2023, okay? So we'll just, we're still under point number one, by the way. So just add this to point number one. If you gotta go back to page six where you started taking notes, go ahead and do so. We're still only on point number one. My homework assignment to you is between now and the end of the year, I want you to do one video like that per month. Starting with July, your market stats are coming out any day now. They might already be out. I want you to the second week or the third week, I don't care what it is, of the month, every month from now and the end of the year to do a video just like that. All right, this is going to be on YouTube, so you can find this. You, you know, We can send you the replay. It's going to be on the podcast, so you can listen to it over and over. We just played it for you twice, and you got the formula how to do it right there in your workbook. There's no reason why 100% of people on this webinar are listening to this podcast, if you're listening to it later, can't go do that. That's what consumers want. That's how they want to see you. They want to see you as the expert, the full-time agent that's in the field, kicking butt every single day and knows what they're talking about. That's point number one. Point number two, if you want to win in the second half, 
We have to know exactly where we are in relation to our goals. We have to know exactly where we are in relation to our goals. And I'm referring to the goals that you set out to accomplish at the beginning of the year. Now, something I said to our audience uh, at the retreat a few weeks back is, listen, if you're far off, just throw the old business plan away. Start with a new one. If you're that far off, just get rid of that plan and start over. But if you're not, if you're not too far off of your goal or you are on track or maybe even exceeding your goal, I want you to be crystal clear on exactly where you are in relation to your goals. I call this the reality check because here's what I know about most agents in the industry today. Now, I did my own little mini survey just of agents you know, within coaching, outside of coaching, around, around North America. Here's what I found about two thirds of agents today, two out of every three agents today is behind on their goals for the year. And maybe in your market, maybe it's more, but this is just an average number. Two thirds are behind. And so how do we get ahead? Well, first things first, we got to know where we're at. One of the ways that you know where you're at is by tracking your numbers daily. Now, I know no one is excited about the idea of tracking our numbers, but I want to share with you, and I don't believe we've shared this during a webinar before, I want to share you with you a daily contact log that we use every single day in our business. If we can get that pulled up on the screen, we have a daily worksheet that we use every single day. That's the, the Glover U daily contact log, where I'm tracking my attempts I'm tracking my results. I'm tracking my talk time, my contacts made, people that I'm adding to the database. Every single day, Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, if I'm working six days a week or whatever, I have a goal to complete one of these in its entirety. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to go across you know, the line every single one of those. That doesn't mean I'm working every single source. That doesn't mean I'm adding three people to my database every day. But every day, I'm starting with a clean sheet of paper like this, and I'm manually checking or writing. Now, some of you, whether you use your CRM or you use CSU or one of those others, that's fine. But every day we got to know where we're at more than ever before, because in the past we could live on, ah, we'll make it up next month. We'll have a better month in a, in a few months. We could live on that in the past. Today we can't. Today it's about our daily activities. So I got to know exactly where I'm at in relation to my goal, which means I actually need to start doing a better job of tracking. I need to do a better job of tracking my numbers daily. And while we're on the subject, something I shared at the retreat, if you weren't there, I want to share it with you as well. I challenged and encouraged every single person in the audience to increase their daily contacts to five, by five to seven contacts per day. When I look at, just hear me out for a second. When I look at uh, lower inventory, less closings, lower percentage of listings selling, when I look at what's going on in the market across the US and Canada, Here's what I know. We need to make up for whatever the deficit is in our appointments set, appointments gone on, contract signed, and of course, closings. Well, how do we make up for that? Well, it starts with our daily contacts. So when I look at everything that's going on in the market, I want everyone to increase their daily contacts by five to seven per day. So that means if you're working five days a week, yep, that's an additional 25 contacts per week. If you're working six days a week, that's an additional 30 contacts per week. Well, Jeff, I'm only making five contacts a day as it is. I'm asking you to double that. If you want to see a significant increase in your business in the second half, given what's going on in the market, you've got to figure out a way to talk to five to seven more people per day. So if you're at 10 to 12, like most agents are, most full-time productive agents, yep, that's right. I want you at 15 to 17. I want you to figure out how to increase your daily contacts by five to seven per day. That's under point number two. Point number three. Next, we need to write out how and what we're going to do. We need to write out how and what we're going to do to either get back on track. We need to write out how and what we're going to do to get back on track or to exceed our goal for the year. We need to write out how and what we're going to do to get back on track or to exceed our goal for the year. This goes back to the double down strategy. This is where you're looking at what you've done that has had, this is my best advice to you. This is what we're doing in my business. What are we doing right now that we're having some success with? It doesn't have to be wild success. What are we doing right now to have some success? What are we doing that's kind of trending? What's what the trajectory is, is looking good. 
All right, now let's take what that is, what source of business we're really doing well with Zillow leads. I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden we're doing well with Zillow leads. Just picking on that one for a second. Okay, now how can we double down on business on Zillow leads? How can we double down on our effort, our skills, our resources? What can I do that's above and beyond what I'm already doing since we're seeing some success with that? I don't, the moral of the story is I don't want you sprinkling a bunch of new sources. Just go get better at the ones you already know. I want you to write out how and what you're going to do to either get back on track or exceed your goal for the year. By the way, my best piece of advice for you, for those who are like, Jeff, I'm on track. Best piece of advice I can give you if you're ever on track with your goal at the midway point, increase it. Here's what I know. Psychologically, when you feel like you're on track at the midway point, it's summer, there's a lot going on. You have a lot of choices. There's other things you could be doing. You could come in a little early or a little later. You can leave a little earlier to catch that tea time. When you're subconsciously on track, you actually dial it back without even recognizing it. You actually subconsciously start dialing back your efforts, not on purpose, not intentional. But in your mind, your mind is telling your activities that you're just fine. Everything's going to work out just fine. And then here's what happens. You get to September, October. Man, I was on track to make 300 grand this year because I was at 150 by July 1st. And I'm only going to hit 200 by the end of the year. What happened? Because you let your foot off the gas because your, your mind was telling you that you're okay, you're on track. So my best piece of advice for those of you that are, on, that are on track, and I know there's a lot of you out there, at least one third of you out there, increase your goal. Doesn't have to be drastic, just increase your goal. Create a little bit more urgency for yourself. Put, you, put yourself in a position where you feel like you don't have enough time or you could run out of time. Just increase your goal a little bit. That's number three. Number four, if you want to win in the second half, I want you to implement hybrid farming. Spent a lot of time talking about this at the retreat. I've, sp I've talked about this really quite honestly for the last five years, but more now than ever, we're implementing this into our business. Hybrid farming, okay? In a nutshell, hybrid farming is very similar to circle prospecting. So for those of you that are familiar with circle prospecting, that's like just listed, just sold. You take a listing, you call the neighborhood, you sell a listing, you call the neighborhood, you send postcards around listings, you sell. Hybrid farming is identifying one neighborhood, whether you have listings or sales in there or not, and just working that neighborhood. But the difference between farming and hybrid farming is I'm not suggesting you send postcards every three months. I'm not suggesting you send postcards once per month. What, I, what am I suggesting? What I'm suggesting is actually free. Now it's going to cost you some time, but it's not going to cost you any money. And that is go right to their doors. In fact, door knocking today is more effective than it's ever been in the history of real estate. Can you believe that? In 2023, with all the technology and the chat GTP and, and Instagram and TikTok and now threads, with all the social media and everything that we have, can you believe that door knocking is actually hour per hour ROI more effective today than it's ever been? Why is that? More people are home, more people are answering their doors. And you know what? You want to know the best part? Those that don't answer, you still have an opportunity to make an impression if they have a ring camera because they can see you and they can hear you potentially depending on what ring camera they have. And you can even record a message. It's amazing to me in 2023, door knocking is more effective than it's ever been in the history of real estate. And some, something I challenged our audience at the retreat, and I'm going to give you guys the same challenge. It goes back to one of the early Gloverisms. If I didn't have an appointment today, what did I, if I didn't go on an appointment today, what did I accomplish? Well, here's what I challenge the audience to do. If you want to have, I mean, this is for those of you. Okay. Show of hands before I'm going to give this advice, show of hands, who wants to have a significantly better second half? Go give me something in the chat, raise a hand, give me two hands up. Who wants to have a significantly better second half? Let me see it in the chat where you guys are at. Who wants to have a significantly better second half? Okay, hand raisers, whatever. Smiley faces, yes. Bombs away, blast off, rocket. I want to have a great second half. Okay, here's my advice to you. This is going to be very effective if you do it. If you take me up on this, you are going to have a substantially better second half than the first half of the year. If you want to have a better second half than the first half of the year, then I want you to spend 60 minutes a day. This is it. Now it's, it's, it's going to be some work, but this is it. Okay. There's a lot of you. So this is for the, it looks like close to a hundred of you that responded. Yes. 
I want you to spend 60 minutes a day going out into the streets, hybrid farming on the days you don't have an appointment to go on. So for instance, if your schedule says you work five days a week, if in the next week you look at your schedule, Jeff, there's five days. Okay, how many appointments do you have? I got three. If you don't fill those other two days with appointments, you're going to spend 60 minutes hybrid farming. What is hybrid farming? Hybrid farming is, again, the similar concept. It's, it's like merging circle prospecting and farming together, where you're going out and notifying neighbors of listings and sales in a neighborhood. I'm asking for 60 minutes a day. That's it. Now, you're going to have 15 or 20 minutes of drive time there, 15 minutes or 20 minutes of drive time back. So call it 90. And by the way, the absolute best time to go see people at their door without question between the hours of 3.30 and 5, most effective hours. Think about it for a second. First of all, more people are working home, working from home now than ever. Think about all the shifts in the hospital and the manufacturing and the factory. People ask me all the time, Jeff, why didn't you door knock? Why didn't you start door knocking at three o'clock? Well, I'm from Detroit. So we have a lot of manufacturing. We have a lot of factory workers. Seven to three is a popular shift. In fact, it's the most popular shift. So therefore, they're not going to be home at three. They'll be home at 3.30 though. Same thing in hospitals. Hospitals are very common to have a seven to three shift. They're not going to be home at three. They're going to be home at 3.30 though. 3.30 to 5, without question, you'll get more answers during that time pay period than any other time of the week. Best days, by the way, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So here's the deal. For those, the 100 or you or so that raised your hand and said, yes, I want to have a substantially better second half than the first half, I'm telling you, if you take me up on this advice, which there's many people from the retreat that have done this, many of our coaching clients that have told us, I've done this seven days since we've been back from the retreat. You know, we had the holiday in there. Every day I don't have an appointment. I'm taking Jeff's advice. I'm going out for 60 minutes. Watch the results you get at the door. Use our circle prospecting script. You have access to all of our scripts. They're all on GloverU.com. Get into one of the coaching programs so you can be held accountable to it. I'm telling you, it will absolutely be a difference maker in the second half versus the first half. That's point number four. Implement hybrid farming. Number five. Write out your new weekday morning routine. Write out your new weekday morning routine. Point number five, write out your new weekday morning routine. Write out your new weekday, Monday through Friday. Point number six, write out your new weekend routine. Point number six, under 11 ways to win in the second half, I want you to write out your new weekend routine. Why am I emphasizing new? Here's what I know about successful real estate agents and average real estate agents. When successful real estate agents write a list of things they want to accomplish, the first thing they do after they're done writing that list is they pull out a blank sheet of paper and they write out a new schedule. Why? Because you can't have a significant increase in business without making some changes to your daily routines. So let me help you with this. Go ahead and turn to page nine in your workbook. Go ahead and turn to page nine in your workbook. And if you're late joining us, I'll have them drop the workbook in the chat one more time. Go ahead and turn to page nine in your workbook. I've got a space for you to write out exactly what you want your new morning routine to include. And your morning routine should include the following if you want to write this on the previous page. Okay, I've got mine right here, by the way. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just give you mine and you do what you want with this. So 6 and 8, 6 a.m., we're on the new morning schedule on the weekday routine if you want to write this on the back page of the previous page. 6 a.m., wake, break a sweat, and do mindset work. Wake up, break a sweat, and do mindset work. I'm not even suggesting you be part of the hashtag 5 a.m. club. Wake up, break a sweat, and do mindset work. 7 a.m., get ready. Accountability call, role play. 7 a.m., get ready. Accountability call, role play. 8 a.m., arrive at office, prospect expires. 8 a.m., arrive at office, prospect expires. 8.30 a.m., prospect 
old expired. So obviously the first one's new. 8.30 a.m. prospect old expires. 9 a.m. mindset break. 9 a.m. mindset break plus prospect for sale by owners. Because your mindset break is not going to be 30 minutes. Your mindset break only needs to be 10. So I got about 20 minutes to call the for sale by owners, which is fine. There's only two or three new ones per day. 9 a.m. mindset break plus shifting gears and prospecting for sale by owners. 9.30 a.m. prospect my hybrid farm. 9.30 a.m. prospect my hybrid farm. That's just what we talked about. 10 a.m. lead follow-up. 10 a.m. lead follow-up. 10.30 a.m. social media content creation. 10.30 a.m. social media content creation. Generally speaking, social media is a distraction if you're consuming it, okay? Most agents, they make the mistake of consuming social media in the morning. I don't care what you do in the afternoon. I don't care if you're laying on the couch at night watching TV and you're scrolling Facebook and Instagram. That's when you consume social media. Never consume in the morning. Only create in the morning. Content consumption later in the day, content creation in the morning. I don't care where your consumption goes. Just don't do it in the morning. If you consume content in the morning, it's going to throw off your entire schedule. 10.30, social media content creation. 11 a.m., social media engagement and proactive reach outs. Social media engagement and proactive reach outs. This is where you're DMing or you're PMing and you're wishing people happy birthdays, anniversaries. You're proactively creating relationships using social media as a tool. And 11.30 a.m. is acknowledgments acknowledgements. This is where you're acknowledging uh, any emails that came in. This is where you're acknowledging any text message. You, you're acknowledging any missed calls. Because why? Notice I didn't do any client servicing in the morning. Here's what I know. If you master the morning routine, you focus on a strong client generation morning routine, client servicing will just fall into place. The afternoon stuff will just fall into place. Moving forward, if you're going to have an increase, a significant increase in business in the second half of the year, you're going to have to have a significant change in your routine. I want you to hear me loud and clear on that. If you want to have a significant increase in business in the second half, you're going to make some significant changes to your routines. That point was made very clear while we were together at the retreat. The last point I want to make under the, the schedule, the new morning schedule for the weekend is here's the deal. I'm going to give you a secret ingredient. Moving forward, I want you to treat either Saturday or Sunday. It doesn't have to be the full day. It can be a half day. It can be a two-thirds day. It can be 75% day, whatever. I'm not suggesting you work six full days a week. My recommendation is actually five and a half. Unless you're within your first three years in the business, then you're probably going to work six full. Moving forward, I want you to treat, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, I want you to treat that morning, Saturday morning, let's just say, because that's what it is for me. I want you to treat your Saturday mornings no different than your Tuesday mornings. I want you to treat your Saturday mornings no different than your Thursday mornings. Well, Jeff, that's, that's the time I spend with my family. Well, is it possible you could spend more time with your family on Sunday? Is it possible you could spend more time with your family Saturday night? Could we shift some things around in your work, in your weekend schedule to where you're not losing time with your family, but you're also having a productive a Saturday morning routine? Because here's the difference. Average agents take the approach of, yeah, I'm available for appointments on the weekends. I'll show house on the weekend. I'll go on a listing appointment on the weekend. I'm not suggesting you do what average agents do. That's what everyone else does. What I'm suggesting is be like the top one or 2%. And I want you to treat your Saturday morning no different than a Tuesday morning. So if you actually saw my Saturday morning schedule, now I do get in an hour later, all right? So instead of getting in at 8 a.m., I get in at 9. So I do give myself one hour to sleep in, which is nice. I get that extra hour. That's kind of a bonus. And of course, Sunday, you can sleep in as late as you want, I guess, if you're working on Saturday. I give myself an extra hour to sleep in, and then I have a morning routine that looks very similar to the weekday. Your Saturday morning should look no different than your Tuesday morning. If you want to have an unfair advantage over your competition, watch this. I just gave you a piece of advice. There's 52 weeks a year. Let's say you take four, four Saturdays. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to give you a one-month head start on your competition, a one-month advantage on your competition. There's 52 weeks a year. Just work 30 Saturday mornings out of 52. That means you get 22 off. You get 22 Saturdays off. 
there's 52 a year, take 22 off, work 30, you now have one extra month of production compared to your competition. That's how you take market share. And that is point number five and point number six. Okay, point number seven. So go back to wherever you were taking notes. Point number seven, execute on your third quarter database value proposition. Everyone should have one. We're in the third quarter. July started the third quarter. It started 11, 12 days ago or whatever. Execute. You wrote a plan. If you worked with us back in January, you wrote a 2023 business plan. We gave it to you. Or you signed up for it or somehow you got it. If you wrote a plan, then you probably wrote in there things that you want to do to add value to your database. Well, are you executing on them? What is left to do? We put in the workbook. It's on page 12. So if you want to fast forward to page 12 when you're done writing that out. So point number seven is execute on your third quarter database value prop. So go to page 12 in your workbook. I have space for you to write out July, August, September. 13, page 13, 14, 15 has things that you could write in there specifically for your plan. I'm going to have them throw our database value plan up on the screen. If we can get that up on the screen, the Q3 plan, please. So you can use some ideas from this. You're going to see it up on the screen in just a second. That's our Q3 database plan. Okay, here's what ours looked like. All right, there's your checklist. I have a goal, script, call summer barbecue event, several different events. There we go. Just got a 13 month year. Thank you, Dave. I love it. VIP box. These are things that we're doing right now. We're executing on this stuff right now in our business to have our best second half ever. And I'm suggesting you do the same. Something you could physically mail. Of course, you know, fireworks are already behind us. So you can save that one for next year. Market update letter. Let's stop on that one. When is the last time you've updated your database on what's going on in the market? We have right now 5,000 letters going out to our entire database to let them know what's happening in the market, what's happening in our company, what, how we're giving back, how we're donating our time, uh, certain recognition, things that are taking place. People want to know what's going on in the market. When's the last time you notified, notified your database of that? You can keep going. August, have an August plan. Fall family photos are coming up. Glover's Heroes golf outing. VIP mailer, Detroit Tigers box. National chocolate chip cookie day. There's so many things you, you can be doing from a creative standpoint. Now we shared some of this from the retreat and I know several of you plan on signing up for systems of real estate. That's where you get all this, by the way. This is right from our systems of real estate course where you'll get the third quarter database plan. You'll get the fourth quarter database plan. But what I'm suggesting, and the reason why I put it in here is I want you to think of, all right, if you look back, you know, and of course there's, you know, th those are the three months we went through. What could I, when I call, what could I say? What kind of event could I host? What could I mail? What could I email? I want you to start thinking what you can do to add value to your database. Cause here's what I know today out of our 1000 or we'll close somewhere between a thousand and 1100 transactions this year, 450 to 500 of them are going to come from our database. And it's because we add value to that group. So let me see your third quarter database value proposition. If you don't have one, join one of our group programs. We're going to teach you that. Number eight. Oh, there's one more thing in your workbook that I gave you. It's on page 18. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a bonus one. So in your workbook, go ahead and turn to page 18. Turn to page 18 in your workbook. Okay, so this isn't one of my points. It's just I said put that in the business in the in the in their notes because they need it. This is your second half database growth goal. I want to know how many people you're going to add to your past client sphere of influence database. I want to know how many exchanges you're going to add. I want to know how many social media followers you're going to add. I want to know how many internet leads, how many cold prospects are you going to add? I want to know if your job is to recruit or if you're looking for more agent to agent referrals, how many more agents are you going to add to your database? By the way, I got my numbers right here. I know what mine is. This is my plan. I'm going to add 20 people to my PCSOI. I'm going to add 120 to my exchanges. I'm going to add 600 social media followers. 
I'm going to add 90 cold internet leads. I'm going to add 55 agents. For a total added to my database between now and the end of December, 885 people that I plan to add to my personal database between now and the end of the year. What's your goal? Instead of just saying, yeah, I add people. I add people to my database. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. I actually want you to set a goal for each one of those categories. All right, let's go back to the notes. Point number eight. I want you to update your social media strategy. I want you to update your social media strategy. Go ahead and write that down. Update your social media strategy, specifically using video. Regardless of what coaching program of ours you take or you've been in, every single of one of our coaches talks about the importance of using video in your business. Whether it's systems of real estate and you're giving video updates through the transaction, whether it's prospecting boot camp where you're using video to send to prospects, to send to expireds, to get them to respond to you, whether you're, whether you're sending video out to your farm because you learned that in marketing mastery, video absolutely has to be leveled up in the second half. And I know you've heard that from a million different places, including us. And on page 20 in your workbook, Page 20 in your workbook, I give you 10 video content ideas. That's straight from Marketing Mastery. All right. If you haven't taken Marketing Mastery and you know you want to get better at video, you might want to consider taking that program. But everyone on here has an opportunity to up their social media game. And I want you to up your game with video, whether it's using the formula that we started the webinar off with, the copywriting formula where you saw me giving the market stats, whether you're implementing that whether you're implementing video through your customer experience, I want you to take a look at what you're currently doing as it relates to video. I want you to get over yourself because I know you say, oh, I don't like to see myself on video. You got to get over that. All right. Uh, YouTube and Google are the two top searched websites today. They happen to be number one and number two in the world for unique users. Why? Video. You got to be there. That's number eight. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Number nine. It's time to update your buying power checklist. We just did this with our team. Number nine, it's time to update your buying power checklist. So go back to wherever you're taking notes. Go ahead and write down, update my buying power checklist. By the way, I just realized on page 23 and 24 in your workbook, I got social media calendar right there for you. This has been updated. We update this every single year. I got social media ideas and social media calendar right there in your workbook, page 23 and 24. But you're writing down point number nine, update your buying power checklist. We just did this with our team in the spring. It's working wonderfully. We're getting more offers accepted than we ever have before in this new market. Because why? Because we've got the most robust buying power checklist than we've ever had. And I'm gonna make your life easy. Because why? I like giving away free stuff. If you per turn to page 27 in your workbook, turn to page 27 in your workbook, there you have it. That is our exact buying power checklist. Now, page 28, 29, and 30 in your workbook are all ideas that are off of our buying power checklist. Some of these may apply to you. Some of them may not. This isn't the exact one we give to the consumer because the one that we give to the consumer has Glover agency on it and it's more consumer friendly. But what I'm doing here on page 28, 29, and 30 is I'm giving you all the tools you need to go create your own. And go, oh, by the way, if you turn to page 31, there you go. You can actually write out everything that you want added. Now, the way we use this is we actually have the consumer, the buyer, write out everything they can do to get their offer accepted. Can you imagine if you had this conversation with buyers during the buyer consultation instead of at the offer consultation, how much stress would be removed from the process? How, how more likely they are to take your advice the first time around? So what I'm suggesting you do under point number nine is I want you to update your buying power checklist. Now, if you're, this is the first time you've ever heard of a buying power checklist, there you go, go create one. And then create a blank one so that way when you're working with your buyers, they can fill out exactly what it is they can do to increase the odds of getting their offer accepted. Because here's what we tell buyers. The higher the buying power, the more likely your offer gets accepted. That's number nine. Uh, by the way, if you had an example of ours behind the scenes ready to go, if it's already up and minimized and you want to pull that up, 
I just had a note here to share ours on the screen. You could throw that up there real quick if we had it. If not, I think what's in the workbook is good. There we go. Yep. So this is the consumer. Remember I said you got to have one that's consumer facing. What we put in here is just to give you a guide. This is actually what we present to buyers in our buyer consultation. We inform them and educate them of everything they can do to get their offer accepted. As you can see here, it's similar to what you have in your workbook. But of course, now it's consumer facing. And look at number six. Now the consumer, stay right there for a second. Now the consumer can take the advice of the real estate agent and write in all the things they can do to increase the odds of getting their offer accepted. So now when I'm having a discussion with the buyer, we can say, yes, if you do all these things, you're going to have a pretty good chance of getting your offer accepted. So I want you to take those and create your own. By the way, there's stuff on ours that won't even apply to you in your market, and that's fine. But I want you to take that and create your own. That's number nine. Number 10, thank you. I want you to tell me, point number 10, under 11 ways to win in the second half. By the way, are you guys getting some value today? Has this proven to be valuable to you? Let me know in the chat if you guys are seeing some value because we want to continue to find ways to give you free stuff. We want to continue to find ways to pour into you, to add value to you and your business. And so my hope is that by getting your feedback, and hopefully this has been valuable, we're going to continue to do this stuff. Also, you, there's a lot of you that I know at this stage of the, of the webinar that are saying, okay, how do I get more? How do I join you guys? How do I get involved? How do I get more Glover U in my life? You're going to want to join one of the group programs that's coming up next. Let's see. They start on July the 17th. So they're coming up soon. What is that? Next week? That's next week. Our group programs start next week, if you can believe that. So if you want to continue to get more of this, now I have two more points to get to. But if you want to dive deeper and you want to ensure you're going to have a strong second half, you might want to consider one of our group coaching programs. Number 10. Under 11 ways to win in the second half, I want you to tell me in detail, write this down, tell me in detail how you're going to reward yourself and your family. I want you to tell me in detail, underline that, please. We had a whole segment on this at the retreat. I want you to go from having a dream board to an actual vision board with costs and dates and details. Not, not just a new car. What kind of new car? What's the payment going to be? When are you going to have it by? Tell me in detail how you're going to reward yourself and your family at year's end if you hit your second half goal. So whether that's a closed unit goal, whether it's a GCI goal, an income goal, a volume goal, a sales goal, a listing taking goal, I don't care what the goal is. If you were at our retreat, you completed your second half business plan. Your coach has been asking you for your second half business plan. Guess what? Good news is in our group coaching program, we reference our second half business plan. You're held accountable in a group setting to that second half business plan. So I want to know under point number 10, tell me in detail how you're going to reward yourself and your family at year's end if you hit your second half goal. I do this activity every year in our annual business plan. I call it life at the new level. You take out a clean sheet of paper, you draw a line down it. On the left-hand side, you write out everything that you have in your life today, what your life looks like, where your kids go to school, where they're going to go to college, how much you have saved up, how many investments you have, what your monthly cost of living is. You write out exactly what your life looks like today on the left-hand side. And let's just say you're making $10,000 a month and you want to go to $20,000 a month. On the right-hand side, you write $20,000 and then tell me specifically in detail what is going to change, what is going to look different in your life at the $20,000 level. I call that the life at the new level activity. We cover that at the retreat. I would encourage you to do the same. Take out a clean sheet of paper, draw a line down the center, write your average monthly income on the left-hand side, What write on the right-hand side what you want your monthly income to be, draw a line down the center, tell me what your life looks like today. Tell me what you want your life to look like. And if you can tell me in good detail what will change, what it will look like specifically, you're already halfway there. If you can't, if you can't, if you can't see it, taste it, feel it, if you can't write it out fast because so many ideas are coming to you, it's not going to happen. So many people say they want to increase their goal. I, I want to, I made a hundred thousand last year. I want to make 200 this year, Jeff. Okay, cool. What are you going to do with the extra hundred grand a year? That's an extra $8,000 a month in income. What are you going to do with $8,000 a month in income? I don't know. I guess save it. No, you won't. If you're not crystal clear on what's going to change in your life, it ain't going to happen. That's the life at the new level activity. Tell me how you're going to reward yourself and your family at the end of the year if you hit your goal. That's number 10. Number 11. 
Number 11, under 11 ways to win in the new market, or 11 ways to win, I'm sorry, in the second half. Commit, write this down, point number 11. Commit to joining. Commit to joining an accountability group. Commit to joining an accountability group. Commit to joining an accountability group and one program. Commit to joining an accountability group and one program. Commit to joining an accountability group. There's tons of them. You can go to the Glover U Inner Circle Facebook group. They're in there. Commit to joining an accountability group and one program. Commit to joining an accountability group and one program that will give me the skills to win in the second half. Commit to joining an accountability group and one program that will give me the skills to win in the second half. One program. That's all I'm suggesting. Not five, not 10, not three, one. We happen to have six that start next week, Monday. If they can get those up on the screen, I'm going to ask you to choose one. I want you to think about where you're at in your business today when you look at your first half and where your greatest need is. Is your greatest need prospecting and lead generation? Because that's your, your biggest weakness in the first half of the year. Is your greatest need in putting together tools and systems because your, your business is chaotic and all over the place? Is your greatest need getting better and working with buyers and having a system to be better and more efficient and working with buyers? Is your greatest need in getting better at social media and marketing? Is your greatest need in becoming more of a listing agent? Is your greatest need in becoming more of a listing focused agent? Or is your greatest need in building a team or building a brokerage? Regardless of what happened in the first half, this is your opportunity to wipe the slate clean. I want you to take these 11 points and I want you to give serious consideration, okay? Because by the way, they're gonna drop in the chat how you can access these programs. So if they can do that now, please do so. I want you to give greatest, I want you to give serious consideration to your greatest need of these six. Because here's the deal, going back to point number 11, commit to joining an accountability group. That's what these are. Commit to joining an accountability group and, and a skill that's necessary. That's what these are. You don't have to pay $1,000 a month to have a one-on-one -on -one coach. Most of these, is you, they're $299 or $399 a month. They're four-month programs. They're, they're 45 minute lives once per week. Imagine if you had someone once per week in a group to hold you accountable once per week in any one of these six areas. Live interaction with one of our coaches or myself. Accountability built in, the ability to unmute yourself and ask questions. That's why our group coaching programs have been so popular. That's why we're about to la launch our largest group ever. Why? Because the industry needs what we're teaching now more than ever. And we're here to deliver it. Why? because I'm in it with you and my mission is to impact millions to live their most unreal life. That's how we're gonna get there. So circle one, underline one, star one, check with whoever you need to check with, plan on joining us in one of those starting next week, Monday. They dropped in the chat how you access them at any time. You can go to GloverU.com if you're listening to the webinar and click on programs. They're all listed there under GloverU.com. That's point number 11. The last two things I wanna share. If you look at those six programs and you say, Jeff, $3.99 a month, I don't know, that's a little steep where I'm at in my business right now. Do you have anything that's a little bit more affordable? Well, we have a new program that's been wildly successful since we launched it. It's called Sales Rocket. I'll have them throw that up on the screen. That would be the alternative if you're not going to join one of the group coaching programs. All right, this is 31 sessions at your pace. It says 24, we give you a bonus seven. <laughs> 31 sessions at your pace. That happened because when we were creating it, I said, no, we need more. At your pace, but these are recorded. They're not live. This is the complete Glover U system. The challenge with this is it doesn't include accountability and we all know we need more accountability. That's why I'd recommend the group coaching programs over these. But I understand if you're not in a financial position to be able to afford the group coaching programs, this might be a good alternative. 
I believe this is a one-time 395 fee and that's it. You have access to it for an entire year. There's six different modules that you go through at your pace, 31 sessions. That's called the Sales Rocket Program. There's all the things that are covered in that underneath as they're scrolling. Every single part of the business essentially from start to finish is covered in that. If you're not in a position to be in a group coaching program, this is going to be your next best thing. They can drop that in the chat so you have access to that. Again, that's called Sales Rocket. Last but not least, before you go, save the date. At our retreat a couple of weeks ago, we announced our Live Unreal Summit, which happens every January. We're moving it west for all my West Coast friends and for all my East Coast friends that are excited about going west. Yes, we announced we're moving it from Orlando to Phoenix, Arizona. It's taking place January 15th through the 18th. Mark your calendars for that. The early bird price is out. January 15th through the 18th is at the Sheridan Grand at Wild Horse Pass in Phoenix, Arizona. We're excited to move west. We're excited to give our West Coast attendees a shorter flight. And our East Coast attendees, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a longer flight. But you know what? Orlando was getting stale. Orlando was getting boring. It was time to try something else. Why? Just in time for the new market. It's time to spice it up a bit. And we'll be spicing it up this January in Phoenix. All right. So you got 11 ways to win. In the second half of this year, I gave you the, the list of things you need to do. Now you need to decide what level of accountability and what level of skill do you want. If you want to go all in, I'd recommend a group program. You're, that's live. You have a chance to interact. You have coaching. <clears throat> uh, you have a chance to ask questions. That's the best bang for your buck, in my opinion. If you're not in a position to do that, then SLS would be next. Regardless. We'll see you in Phoenix. Seems like it's already around the corner, but it's in January. All right. You got the 11 things you need to do. That's what we're doing. I hope you take action on them. You got everything you need in your workbook there. Group coaching starts on Monday. Pick your course. Even if you've taken one before, we've updated all of them. We'll see you in one of them starting on Monday. Have a great day. Have a good rest of the week. Good luck in the second half. See you guys. Bye-bye.